Upper Pinellas County. This is Country South High School's award-winning UPC Morning Show. Good morning, I'm Dusty Plummer. And I'm Tabitha Tucker, and this is the May 3rd edition of the UPC Morning Show. Any student that is interested in becoming a member of the flag school or a color guard should sign up today in the band room. Congratulations to Jenny Cavins for being selected to first team all county in softball. Stephanie Barnett, Karen Gerluski, and Jamie Amaker were chosen second team, while Lisa Robbins made honorable mention for shortstop. Grad night ticket holders, properly attired seniors and their guests with tickets for Grad Night 91 should gather in front of the school on Saturday evening, May 4th at 7.15. The coaches for the Magic Kingdom depart promptly at 8 p.m. Our annual talent show is going to be held on May 17th. Everyone interested in performing may pick up an application from Mr. Suchek in the auditorium. Students may now sign up for summer, summer school Countryside students will attend Dunedin High School program's senior guidance counselor to sign up. Guess what? Lip sync is tonight. Absolute lip sync is tonight. Not next Friday. It starts at 7 p.m. and will be held in the auditorium. Don't miss out. Who knows? Maybe Elvis will make his final appearance. Dr. Elliot Engel will bring Edgar Allan Poe's life and his literature to Countryside High School on Wednesday, May 8th during fourth period. So buy your $2 tickets from your English teacher to attend this excellent and entertaining assembly. Did everyone go to see Damn Yankees? Well, if not, here's Kelly and Melissa to tell you what you missed. Kelly, did you see this play the other weekend? Yeah, I did, and it was damn good. What do you think about it? I thought it was damn hard to understand. Why don't we go talk to some of them damn Yankees and find out what it was about? Damn good idea. Barry. What did you think of the damn Yankees? Well, I thought it was very well done. Mr. Burkett, that solo was great. Damn Yankees Saturday night? What? They were in concert here? No, it was a play from our school. Oh, I was unable to attend. But if it was the concert, you would have gone? Oh, yeah, definitely. Ricky, did you see the damn Yankees last weekend? Uh, damn Yankees beat my Mets again, Faith. <laughs> Shannon, did you go see damn Yankees this weekend? No, I was too busy seeing uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Star and Vanilla Ice. I'm here with Kelly, who played Gloria Thorpe in the Damn Yankees. Um, how did the play go overall? Well, I guess it did pretty, pretty good. I mean, we worked really hard on it, and I hope everyone enjoyed it who came to see it. And I hope they come see more of our plays, because we put on a lot in school. Okay, and for those of the people that missed it, can you tell us what it was about? Well, Mr. Burkett's in it, and it's about and a man who hates the Yankees because they always beat his team, the Washington Senators, and this devil comes along, who's Dave Reagan, and makes a deal with him, and he'll turn him into a young Joe Hardy, and he goes and helps Washington Senators, and they win the pennant. They, they try to win the pennant, and I think they basically do, and he, go, okay. but he goes back to his wife, so. All right, thank you, and good job. Yeah. Melissa, what did you think about that damn play? It was damn good. I hope they put on some other damn good plays like the damn Yankees. This has been Kelly and Melissa, UPC. Are you clear on what's cool and what's not for grad night dress? Well, here are Jen and Sharice with the scoop. Since grad night is tomorrow and since some of you still don't know what to wear, we're going to show you what's cool. A nice shirt or blouse with a nice skirt is acceptable for tomorrow night. Yes, girls, you can wear pants, but remember, they have to match, like off-white with off-white. And if you want to wear a different colored shirt, just remember to wear a blazer that matches with the pants. Last but not least, the dress is also very nice to wear. Now we're going to show you what's uncool. You have to dress nicely. You can't wear what Danny's wearing. And you also can't wear Leanne's jeans. <laughs> You also cannot show any part of the abdominal muscles or no part of the epidermis. And also, you cannot show your shoulders. You can't wear oversized shirts with leggings. You also cannot wear sandals, and guys have to wear socks. 
For grad night tomorrow, you cannot bring in food, radios, intoxicants, tobacco, or cigarettes. If you don't abide by these rules, there will be a penalty of not getting your money back and sitting in this room for eight hours the whole time. This has been Janet Streis, those two fat heifers, for UPC. Go ahead. Do you know the difference between a senior gift and a senior privilege? Here are John and Dusty to inform you. In response to last week's segment on the senior gift that was supposed to go for seniors, no, it's supposed to be for everybody, not just seniors. And number one, you people were mentioning out privileges. Uh-uh. Number one, we're going to get you a gift, and what we get, you're going to like. You're going to have to live with, and it's going to be for everybody. See this up here? This is a gift. Look at that. It's beautiful. What do you think, Dust? I think it's very beautiful, Buck. It's, you know, it's for everyone to see, not just for individuals, you know, who wish it was theirs. Yeah, and... You know, maybe we'll just get you something nice and serene, like a meadow of flowers or something pretty like that. Something that everyone can admire. Something that'll make people smile. Like, come on, we'll go show you some of the other gifts that the other students got. Maybe you'll smile too, eh? Huh? This is a gift. It's good. This is a gift. I'm here with uh, senior Courtney Lett, and Courtney, what's your idea of a senior gift? More vending machines. Like what kind of vending machines? Pepsi. Well, we have Pepsi machines, like candy bars or something like that? Sure. Sure? Okay. Matt, what do you think your senior gift should be? Padded toilet seats that are clean once a day. Padded toilet seats that are clean once a day. Now that's a gift, folks. I'm here with senior Amy Welch. Amy, what is your idea for a proper senior gift? Well, I think that we should have a meadow of flowers with daisies and morning glories and roses and everything would just be so happy. That's beautiful, Amy. I'm here with uh, Big Adam Brecker and Adam. What do you think a senior gift should be? Mm, nothing. What have they done for me? Nothing. I don't think we should give anything. If anything, let's pick up these crops here and just leave them some vegetables. Okay. Nice cucumbers in the corner there. We got, we got some corn over there. Leave them our vegetables, man. That's what I'd do. We're going to leave them the vegetables. It's free, too. It's free. Well, I hope you all learned the difference between privilege and a gift. You think they've learned anything, Buck? Mm -hmm. That's all you got to say? Yeah. Okay. Well, yep. make sure you get it right next time, folks. Yep. Thank you. It's been Dusty and John, UPC. Yeah. A gift. That's a gift. That's, that's a gift from the class of 1981. A gift. Not a privilege, man. It's not a privilege. It's a gift. Is there any questions? Do you need help with college information? Try the guidance office and the new computer. Here's Kathy with the story. Since a lot of juniors and seniors are worried about colleges and where they're going to go and information about it, the guidance office has this new computer that helps you out with colleges and information. Bryce, what are you trying to find out about colleges here? I'm trying to find out which college would best suit me in my life after I finish my, college, my high school career here that so that I may go on and become a better person in this world and make and help make this world just a better place. But I want to make sure that my college choice is exceptional and that I get the right school that's for me, with me the individual. This computer will help you do that. You can put in all different things that you want and it'll just cut out the schools that don't have it. So if you don't want it, just put it in there and that school won't be listed. Okay, what school are you looking at specifically? I'd like to go to Wake Forest, but that costs a lot of money, but I'll see what my dad can do. If I can get in there, I believe that I'll go because it's a quite excellent school. It has a very good science program. My cousin goes there. My dad taught there. It's good scenery. Okay, how does a computer work? Well, you just tell it what you want. As I've done here, I've told it that I want physics and I want chemistry and I want a choral groups in my college. And it just put this on a list and it took out all the colleges that didn't have that. Okay, so it just goes down and eliminates the colleges that don't have what you want, what area you want? Correct. 
So is it really, is it easy to use and does it take a lot of time? It's quite easy to use. In fact, I mean, look at me, I'm a lineman and I can even do it. So it, it's very easy. And if you have troubles, you can just ask anyone here in the guidance office and they will help you with it. Have a lot of students come in to use this new computer? Oh yes, quite a few students have come in to use the computer. A lot of them come in after school. When you can, when we as counselors and, and myself from here, from this desk, can help the students with the GIS machine and help them to use it better, get all the information that they need, location, price, information about colleges. Because there's two ways you can do that. There's the uh, profile that you can get just as to what you need on your GI, on your, uh, excuse me, uh, SAT, ACT, uh, the price, the location, uh, telephone number, and then you can do an in-depth, where the in-depth will tell you whether you that at school indeed will give you your major or whatever else you're looking for in a school. I hope this cleared up some of the confusion you have on how to use this computer, so hopefully you have an easier time picking your colleges. This is Kathy for UPC. Everyone's been inside our school library, but have you ever taken a real close look at some of those books? Well, Heather did, and here's what she found. We get some pretty weird books with some weird titles in this library. Let's go see some. So, Rochelle, what's your favorite book? Letter Buck. What's it about? Uh, the Daring World of Rodeo. Okay, Danielle, what's your favorite book? Well, like Rochelle, I'm very much into the rodeo. My favorite book is The First Wild West Rodeo. It's very good. Was it your first book about the rodeo? Yes, it was. So, do you want to go and join a rodeo now or what? Well, I'm considering it. It's, it's so, uh, Sean, what's your favorite book? The Complete Book of Puppetry. What, so, was it really good or what? Very interesting book. Very interesting. I, I, I don't know. Do you think they should have like a puppetry class now or something? Yeah, I think we have, we have a wrestling class, so we should have a puppetry class. Is the, Sean knows puppets. <laughs> so, Michelle, what are you reading here? Guns and Rifles. Is it a good book? Yes. Are you, do you like want to go join ROTC now or what? Maybe. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't need this book this year. Oh, this one's for you, Bridget. For some of our folks, we've got the complete book of Bridge. Then, of course, if we want to get in the game, the Teenager's Guide to Bridge. And now for Mr. Tom Doherty, here you go. It's a book about Lori Frisbee. Hmm, the boys of summer. I might want to check this one out. So I'm really happy I came to the library because I learned a lot. There's a lot of great books in here. And to all you out there, I suggest you come to your library and find some wild and wacky books. Phil, Phil Donahue is our favorite. See you later. It's been Heather for UPC. Senior breakfast is coming up soon. Here's Courtney and Brett to tell you seniors what's up. Ooh. Attention seniors, that day you've been waiting for, senior breakfast is coming up May 24th. Held at Innisbrook which will display that fine, beautiful lunch buffet that they always have. Some other... Breakfast buffet. It's a breakfast buffet, lunch buffet, no no difference. And the slideshow. Ooh, the slideshow. Also, yes. don't forget skits and yearbooks will be distributed. Awards. Oh, can't forget those amazing awards. 1550 a person. <laughs> and tickets will be on sale May 6th through the 17th, I believe. And tickets will be fifteen fifty each. You're only excused periods one through five. Remember, you have to be back for sixth and seventh. No skipping, Courtney. Wear your Sunday's best. Uh, wear your Sunday's best. Look sharp, and I hope everybody comes out. Well, there you have it. Another edition of the UPC Morning Show come to an end, and I want to take this chance to uh, tell all the seniors I hope they have a great trip to Disney World Grad Night '91. Great long trip, I must. Okay. Well, 
I hope you're all at lip sync tonight, and it should be a good one. Yeah, it should. Absolute lip sync is tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, and you should already have your tickets and been well prepared for this. Oh, I'll, if you, uh, anybody 18, the voter for registration is here. You need to register your vote so you can be American. Yeah. Something like that. And everyone, I know that all the senior and junior girls are getting real hyped up for Powder Puff. So. <laughs> Here we are signing off for UPC, Dusty and Tabitha. <laughs> I have a correction for my grad night segment that went on today. Although you still have to adhere by the strict dress codes, and all school rules still apply about tobacco and alcohol, you will not be placed in an eight-hour holding cell for violating the dress code. In addition, properly attired seniors and their guests with tickets for Grad Night 91 should gather in front of the school on Saturday evening, May 4th at 7.15 p.m. Coaches or buses for the Magic Kingdom depart promptly at 8 o'clock. Seniors wishing assistance to sell or purchase existing Grad Night 91 tickets must see Mr. Straub in room D6 before noon today. Thank you.